On October 23, 2024, the U.S. Department of Defense announced that the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, GRFCSG, is actively engaged in the Surface Warfare Advanced Tactical Training, SWAT, a comprehensive at-sea training program designed to bolster warfighting capabilities across multiple domains. Conducted under the oversight of the Naval Surface and Mine Warfighting Development Center, SMWDC, SWAT is a vital preparatory phase for deployment, enabling real-time tactical development and integration among participating units. The GRF-CSG is a formidable assemblage of assets that includes several Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers, USS Winston S. Churchill, DDG-81, USS Mitcher, DDG-57, USS Mahan, DDG-72, USS Bainbridge, DDG-96, and USS Forrest Sherman, DDG-98. These destroyers are complemented by Carrier Air Wing, CVW-8, which provides essential aerial capabilities crucial for the success of naval operations. SWAT encompasses a diverse range of training scenarios that incorporate individual, team, and unit-level exercises aimed at sharpening the warfighting capabilities of each component. The program includes integrated in-port training, live virtual constructs, and at-sea evolutions that enhance the tactical knowledge and proficiency of participants. The overarching goal is to produce multi-domain combatants prepared for full-spectrum combat operations. Under the leadership of SMWDC, SWAT stands as the premier advanced tactical training exercise tailored specifically for the surface fleet. It pushes units to reach new levels of tactical precision and adaptability, equipping watch teams, individual units, and warfare commanders with cutting-edge strategies necessary to navigate the complexities of modern naval warfare. Commanded by Carrier Strike Group 12, which oversees the USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, Destroyer Squadron 2, CVW-8, and the five guided missile destroyers, the training exercise emphasizes readiness across all operational facets. One of the primary strengths of the Gerald R. Ford CSG lies in its multi-layered defense network. Each Arleigh Burke-class destroyer is equipped with the Aegis Combat System, a sophisticated platform capable of supporting anti-air, anti-missile, and anti-submarine operations. This advanced system establishes a protective buffer around the carrier and the entire strike group, essential for countering diverse threats, including missile attacks, submarines, and aerial incursions. Such a layered defense approach significantly enhances the security and survivability of the CSG in complex operational environments. Despite its formidable capabilities, the CSG faces notable challenges, particularly concerning its significant logistical demands. Operating such a complex group requires extensive support in fuel, supplies, and maintenance. Extended deployments constrain resources, limiting the CSG's operational endurance, especially in remote or contested areas where resupply is challenging. Cost is another critical factor influencing the operations of the Gerald R. Ford CSG. As one of the most expensive warships ever constructed, the Gerald R. Ford-class carrier, alongside its destroyers and supporting vessels, represents a substantial investment in naval power. The high costs associated with maintenance, upgrades, and operational readiness raise strategic questions about the long-term sustainability of carrier-based power projection, particularly as adversaries develop countermeasures aimed at challenging traditional carrier strike group operations. The participation of the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group in the Surface Warfare Advanced Tactical Training Program exemplifies the U.S. Navy's commitment to maintaining tactical superiority in modern naval warfare. While the CSG boasts significant strengths in its advanced capabilities and multi-layer defense systems, it must also navigate the challenges of logistics and costs in an ever-evolving security landscape. As the Navy continues to adapt to emerging threats, the effectiveness of programs like SWAT will be crucial in ensuring the readiness and resilience of its naval forces.